By now you should know what 5 cubed means. It means multiply 5 by itself 3 times. We call 5 the base and 3 the exponent or index. The base tells us what to multiply and the exponent tells us how many times to multiply. And the whole lot together is called the power, which is why we can also read this as 5 to the power of 3. By writing out this power as 5 times 5 times 5, we have expanded the power. Let's practice expanding. Here we are asked to expand 10 to the power of 6. The base is 10. The exponent is 6. So we need to multiply 10 by itself 6 times. In the next example, we are asked to expand 7 to the power of 5. The base is 7 and the exponent is 5. So we need to multiply 7 by itself 5 times. In the next example, we are asked to expand x to the power of 4. The base is x, which can be any number, and the exponent is 4. So we need to multiply x by itself 4 times. Please pause if you need to. In the next example, we are asked to expand a to the power of 7. The base is a, which can again be any number, and the exponent is 7. So we need to multiply a by itself 7 times. In the next example, we are asked to expand minus 2 all to the power of 5. The base here is everything inside the bracket. And the exponent is 5. So we need to multiply minus 2 by itself 5 times. Please note, it is always a good idea to write negative numbers inside brackets. In the next example, we are asked to expand 3x all to the power of 4. The base is 3x, which is just shorthand for 3 times x. And the exponent is 4. This means we need to multiply 3x by itself 4 times. Please pause to check. You can also be asked to do this the other way round. In other words, where we need to write the expanded form in exponential form. The base is the number that is being multiplied by itself. And the number of times it is multiplied gives the exponent. Please pause and try the next one on your own first. Here 8 is being multiplied by itself 4 times. So the base is 8 and the exponent is 4. How did you do? Here is the next example. Please pause and try it on your own first. Here x is being multiplied by itself 6 times. So the exponential form is x to the power of 6. How did you do? In the next example, we are given negative numbers. Here minus 9 is being multiplied by itself 3 times. So this is minus 9 all to the power of 3. Here it is important that minus 9 is written inside brackets. Please pause to check. You can also be asked to calculate powers. Let's go on to see how. To help us with the calculation, we expand the power. We are now ready to calculate. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. And 16 times 2 equals 32. So the value of 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Please note, you can also calculate powers on your calculator. On the Casio, which we like to use, the key sequence is the following. Please pause to make sure you also get a value of 32 on your calculator. Please pause and calculate the next power on your own first. 
Here are the keys for a Casio. The value is 4096. How did you do? Please pause and calculate the value of this power. Here are the keys for the Casio. The answer is 512. Please pause if you need more time here. In the next example, we are given a negative base. Please note, on the calculator, we also need to key in the brackets. This gives an answer of 81. Please pause and try the next one on your own first. Here are the calculator keys you need to use. The answer is minus 243. How did you do? Please note, both of these powers have a negative base. In the first power, the negative base is raised to an even exponent. When this is the case, the answer will always be positive. And in the second power, the negative base is raised to an odd exponent. Whenever this is the case, the answer will always be negative. In the next example, we have a negative base raised to an even exponent. And because we have an even exponent, the answer will be positive. In the next example, we have a negative base raised to an odd exponent. And because we have an odd exponent, the answer will be negative. Please pause to check my working. We have just calculated that minus 3 all to the power of 4 is equal to 81. The brackets tell us that both the minus and 3 must be raised to the exponent 4. Let's now calculate the same power, but without the brackets. Because there are no brackets, only 3 is the base raised to the power of 4. This means that the minus will stay in front in the answer. And 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81, so the final answer is minus 81. In the next example, we are asked to calculate minus 1 all to the power of 5. Because of the brackets, the minus is also part of the base. And because the exponent is odd, the answer is minus 1. I hope you are happy that 1 to the power of any exponent is just 1. In the next example, we are asked to calculate minus 1 all to the power of 12. The base is again negative 1, and also inside brackets. But this time the exponent is even so the answer is positive 1. Next we have minus 1 without brackets to the power of 20. And because there are no brackets, only 1 is the base raised to the power of 20. This means that the minus just stays in front in the answer. And 1 to the power of 20 is 1. Please pause to check all my working. Here is the whole number 5. Is it a power? In other words, does it have an exponent? Yes, all whole numbers have an invisible exponent of 1. This means that 5 to the power of 1 is equal to 5. And that 3 to the power of 1 will be equal to 3. And that minus 7 all to the power of 1 will be equal to minus 7. In fact, x to the power of 1, where x is any number, will be equal to x. In other words, any number to the power of 1 will be equal to itself. Please pause to study this important information. Here we have a power with 0 in the exponent. Please pause and use your calculator to find its value. It is equal to 1. Were you surprised? Please pause and use your calculator to find the value of 12 to the power of 0. Again, it is equal to 1. Now calculate minus 5 all to the power of 0. Don't forget the brackets. Again, it is equal to 1. 
In general, we can say that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. In other words, x to the power of 0, where x is any number, will be equal to 1. And a plus b all to the power of 0 will also be equal to 1. And 6x all to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. I hope you get the idea. Please note, in the highlighted examples, the whole bracket is the base of the power. Please pause to study this important information. We have just seen that 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This is because any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This means that minus 3 all to the power of 0 will also be equal to 1. In this example, minus 3 is the base. In other words, the whole bracket is the base. Let's now investigate what happens when minus 3 is not inside a bracket. In this case, only 3 is the base. In other words, the minus is not included in the base. 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Are we finished? No, the minus in front must stay in front in the answer. Please take careful note of the difference between examples 2 and 3. Earlier, we also saw that 6x all to the power of 0 is equal to 1. In this case, the whole bracket is the base. Let's now look at the same example, but without the bracket. This time, the zero exponent only applies to x. In other words, only x is the base. And x to the power of zero is equal to one. Are we finished? No, the six in front needs to stay in the answer. Please note. This is actually 6 times 1. So the final answer is just 6. Please pause to study this important information. Let's end with a few mixed examples. 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. And 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We then add to get the final answer. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next example. Please pause to study it. Minus 2 all to the power of 4 is equal to 16. This is a positive answer because the exponent is even. Minus 1 all to the power of 101 is equal to minus 1. This is because the exponent is odd, and because this answer is negative, we write it inside brackets. And 2 over 3 all to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This is because any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. By now you should know that a plus with a minus in brackets next to it is just minus. The final answer is therefore 14. Please pause to check my working. Please pause and try the next example on your own first. I hope you remembered bod mass. In other words, we first need to add inside the brackets. The second term is just 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. 5 squared is equal to 25. And 25 minus 1 equals 24. How did you do? Let's end with this example. Please pause and try it on your own first. The first zero exponent only applies to x. In other words, x is the base, and x to the power of zero is equal to one. We also need to multiply by the seven in front. Here I use a dot to show multiplication. The second term is equal to one, because the whole of seven x is the base. We then multiply 7 by 1 to get 7. And then we add to get the final answer. This completes the lesson. Good luck with the test.